Well, employees at one of the country's major attractions among those cleaning up in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew as the Adastra Gardens and Zoo remains closed. Officials estimate the damage to be in the thousands as Hurricane Matthew swept through that property. Kalapama visited the site prior to and after the storm. Hazel and Grace, the cockatoos, Trumpet and Gigi, the hornbills, and PJ, the monkey, are just some of the animals at Adastra Gardens and Zoo that survived Hurricane Matthew. In fact, all of the 150 animals, many endangered species, are injury-free and are accounted for. We had no loss of animals during the whole storm, so that is, you know, we're really, really pleased about that. Um, and we know that what we did was secure. I mean, nothing, not even anything minor with them. So, you know, we're very pleased about that. Adastra Gardens closed two days before Hurricane Matthew made landfall. Education officer Gigi Davis says the substantial damage on the five-acre site will undoubtedly delay the historic attraction opening anytime soon. We're clearing as much as we can at this time because we do still have to wait for the insurance adjusters to get here. So we needed to clear the path so that they will be able to view the damage because it is a garden. We have a lot of trees that have been here for many, many years. Very huge huge trees that are down so that takes quite a bit of chain soaring and it actually went through a number of the exhibits the wall at the back actually fell into some of the exhibits so um, in those areas we won't be able to put any animals back in those places right now flooding was also an initial concern was it serious um, not too serious however the ponds were a bit up to its max but nothing major where it had to like enter into our main offices or anything like that. Davis says she and her colleagues of some 20 people are working feverishly to reopen the attraction. Not just for visitors and residents, but for the animals to get them back to their assigned spaces and out of temporary spaces. Animals like the Australian black swan is occupying the petting zoo and the two servals, Sakai and Garfunkel, are living in the lemur's cage. You know, one of our main things here at Adastra is security of our guests, whether it is our cruise passengers, our local um, residents, or us, because we have a lot of school traffic. So definitely we have to keep it. The safety is our main thing. So we need to make sure that everything is intact before persons can actually enter the zoo. With so much work still left to be done here, officials estimate that they won't be open for another two weeks. At the Industrial Gardens and Zoo, I'm Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.